Hoops Graphics presents Dayton Bronco Friday Night Lights 2012. Game 7, Dayton versus Humble on Thursday. Dayton Bronco Friday Night Lights is produced by Toops Graphics. Toops Graphics and the Dayton Broncos, a believing combination. The Dayton Broncos get the opening kickoff and drive down the field. This run by the quarterback, Jacarius Keener, takes the ball inside the Wildcat 20-yard line. On the very next play, Jacarius Keener takes the snap. Kyle Bryant gets the handoff, races to his left, and crosses the goal line. The Broncos score the first touchdown of the game and go up 6 to nothing. The extra point by Caraco goes through the uprights. The Broncos lead 7-0 with 8.55 left in the first quarter. The Wildcats get the handoff, but face a staunch Bronco defense. After three plays, the Wildcats punt the ball. The Broncos get the ball around the 50-yard line. This pass, catch, and run by Isaiah Chambers moves the ball close to the 20. The Broncos move the ball to the one yard by when Jacarius Keeter crosses the goal line, scoring the second Bronco touchdown. The extra point goes to the uprights, making the score Broncos 14 and Wildcats 0. The Wildcats get the ball back and try to move the ball on the defense, but it's not possible. Three Wildcat offensive plays produce another punt. The Broncos get the ball in good field position. This snap and handoff to Isaiah Chambers brings the ball down into Wildcat territory. Three plays later, Keener takes the snap, hands it off to Kyle McBride, who whoop, goes around the corner, whoop, he gets outside, cruises down the sideline and launches himself into the end zone. The Broncos score three touchdowns in the first quarter. The extra point is good. The score now stands Broncos 21, Humble 0 at the end of the first quarter. Broncos kickoff puts an exclamation point on the Broncos 21 points. It splits the uprights. The next three Wildcat offensive plays produce the same result. No first down. How bad can things get for the Wildcats? The snap is fumbled. The putters crush. The Broncos get the ball inside the 10 yard line. Two plays later, the Broncos have it first to go and Keener crosses the goal line on a quarterback sneak. The score is down 27 to zero. The extra point is good. The score is now Broncos 28, Wildcats zero. The Wildcats try to move the ball on offense, but they can't muster any yardage against the Broncos defense. Three Wildcat offensive plays produce another punt. Two plays later, Keener gives the ball off to McBride who races around and whoop, cuts to the left and is off to the races. Kyle McBride scores the fifth Bronco touchdown in the first half. Caraco's extra point is good, making the score 35 to zero. The Wildcats get the ball on offense and try to move the ball on the Bronco defense, but they just can't do it. The 
Wildcats punt yet again. The Wildcats recover a Bronco fumble when miracles happen. The quarterback connects on a good route. The Wildcats have it in point blank range in Bronco territory. After two incomplete passes, the Wildcats have it third and long. The quarterback tries to run up the middle. He turns to his left and runs, but is crushed by the Dayton Broncos. The Wildcats go for a field goal to get on the board, but it's blocked. Javon St. Andre picks up the ball and races down the field, but is caught from behind. The Broncos have the ball inside the 30-yard line. Three plays later, Keener hands off to Charles Ruffian, who cuts up the middle and whoop, goes right by the Wildcat defenders and scores the sixth Bronco touchdown. The extra point splits the uprights. The score is now Broncos 42 and Wildcats zero. The Wildcats get the ball to start the third quarter and the quarterback throws the ball down the field and it's complete. The Wildcats have it first and goal inside the Broncos 10. On first down, the Wildcats try a sweep to the left, but it's stopped for a loss. On second down, the quarterback tries to run up the middle, but it's collapsed, a loss. On third down, the quarterback rolls to his right and throws it. It's complete, but he doesn't cross the goal line, setting up fourth down. The quarterback goes back and throws an incomplete pass. The ball turns over to the Broncos. Two plays later, Keener hands off to Kyle McBride, who cuts up the middle, runs and whoop, cuts to his left. He's off to the races, but is ran down by the guy with the angle. The Broncos have it on the 20 yard line. Two plays later, Keener takes the snap, hands off to Charles Ruffian, who runs up the middle and scores a touchdown. The extra point is good again. Caraco kicks seven extra points in the game and puts the Broncos up 49 to zero. The Wildcats get the ball after a Bronco turnover and take it down the field. But on third down, the ball's intercepted by the Broncos. Dayton is then able to drive down the field inside their own territory, go into victory formation, and drain the clock. The Broncos win again, 49-0. to Dayton Bronco Friday Night Lights has been produced by Toops Graphics. Toops Graphics, always believe. Other scores from week five of 19 for a competition. C.E. King beat New Caney 21-3. Summer Creek top Kingwood Park 45 to 14. In Barbers Hill, Scott Porter 55 to 0. After the fifth week, the standings are as follows. Dayton and Summer Creek are on top of the standings. Barbers Hill and Crosby are in third and fourth. New Caney and Porter are at the bottom of the barrel at 0 and 4. Dayton Bronco Friday Night Lights is a product of Toop Scrappers. Toops Graphics and the Dayton Broncos, a believing combination.